Decorate your row or columns with frames. This is an awesome feature that allow you to add custom frames around each row or column, giving it more character as you showcase your content. You can add a frame on a row by clicking on the styling icon here. Then you'll see the frame styling dropdown. Expand it and you'll see the following options. You can set the frame on the top, bottom, left, and right, all of which have the same options. Let's start with the bottom. Now you can select the frame type that you'd like to add. You can choose one of the presets we already have here, or add your own custom frame. I'll choose a preset. Now that I've selected a preset, I'm going to set the color of the frame. I'm going to set this to white so that it blends well with the next row. Now I can set the width and height. I can choose to set these in pixel, EM, or in percentage. By default, the width is set to 100%. For this example, I'm going to keep it at 100%. For the height, I'm going to drag it and see what, what'll look best. That looks about right. For repeat, we can choose how many times we'd like to repeat the frame. For this example, I'm going to keep it at the default one. Lastly, is the option to display below or above content. I'll explain more about this option when I showcase how to use frames on a column. Now to set up frames on a column. We can do this by clicking on the brush icon similar to the row here. Then on the frame dropdown, we'll see the exact same options as what we saw on the row. But the key difference is that the frame will only appear inside the column. So I'm going to add some frames for this new column. Now that I'm done, I'm going to set this frame to show below the content. To do this, I'll just have to make sure that the option below the content is selected. Because if I choose the option display above content, then the frame will overlap with my content. Now that I'm done, I'm going to click done and then save. And when I close my builder, I'll see my frames appear on the row and column that I've set them at. The cool thing about using the Builder is its responsive styling feature and how we can use it when styling our frames. All we have to do is toggle on the responsive styling feature here and then on Tablet Landscape, what we can do is change the color and height. Then on Tablet, change the preset, height and color. And on Mobile, do the same thing. Now, when I drag and change the view back to tablet, tablet landscape, and desktop, we'll see all the changes I made are saved and applied.